For those not in the know, Weathering With You is the newest movie by visionary director Makoto Shinkai, best known for 2016's Your Name. While I haven't seen it personally, Your Name is generally put up against one of my favorite movies ever, A Silent Voice. When I heard who was directing Weathering With You, I just knew I had to see it. So, I drove a ways out to the nearest theater that was playing it, and I was blown away. I expected the movie to be good, but I was prepared for how amazing it ended up being. Honestly, I would suggest going in totally spoiler free, but this video won't have any major spoilers, so if you're intrigued but not totally on board yet, just watch on. The story of Weathering With You follows high schooler Hodaka, who has run away from home to Tokyo, and Hina, a girl who can make the sun shine. Hina is important because Japan's weather has been continuous rain for months on end. Hodaka and Hina meet and decide to try to use Hina's power for good, to help people. The story starts simple enough and has some nice teenage romance elements between the two leads, but it ends up going to some very unexpected places. Not bad or out of place, just not where you might first think it would go. This helps deliver a good feeling about the characters though, as their true colors are shown as they get pushed against the grain, and they grow from it in each of their own ways. But make sure you're prepared to cry going in, just as a warning. While Weathering With You has an interesting plot on its own, the characters are what really elevate it to a higher level. Hodaka and Hina's relationship is super cute and makes you feel happy seeing them grow close to one another. Hodaka is the character the audience mainly follows, and he has some major struggles throughout the entire movie. They're part of who he is, but he doesn't define himself by them, which is one of the most important parts of his character. Yet even to the end of the movie, his struggles are still a part of him, which leads into one of the biggest choices made at the end of the movie. Remember, no spoilers, but it kind of blew me away and is not what I was expecting the movie to go into. Yet, while Hodaka is followed through most of the movie's runtime, Hina is the most important character in the movie. She's the one who can control the weather, after all. Hina is such a great character as well. It helps show how even with traumatic events in the past and future, people can still be kind, happy, and spark joy in others. The fact that Hina has a younger brother likely isn't just a coincidence, as Hina's helping to others by bringing out the sun has a caring quality of an older sister. Hina may just be the most tragic character in the movie, though, which makes what happens that much worse due to how sweet she is. But just because she's nice doesn't mean she's not also determined and feisty, which she makes known when it's needed. Something that live action movies will never be able to replicate is the pure awe brought on by beautiful animation. And dear viewer, this movie had me awestruck. This is some of the best animation I've ever seen, and its versatility in different areas helps strengthen its beauty. There will be long scenes of characters just walking or talking, but the body movements help characterize them so subtly, something you know I'm a fan of if you watch my silent voice video. Then there are also a fair amount of action scenes, whether they be running through the streets of Tokyo or flying high above the clouds, the change of pace is also met with an increase in quality, helping set them apart from normal. Also, I don't totally know how to throw this in, but any scene that has food or cooking looks so good. Like, it's all regular food, but the animation just looks makes it look so much more appealing than it ever would in real life. There's one thing the animation really exceeds at though, and that's the rain. Obviously, the rain is a major part of this movie, and I'd go far enough to say that the weather is a character in and of itself, so the animation of said weather needed to be incredible. Well, it is. The rain is always present, but it's only distracting when it's needed to be. Otherwise, the rain will be flying across the screen, making puddles, hitting umbrellas and clothes, just being a part of the world. But for animation, this is such a major challenge with how much needs to be considered such as reflections and water movements, that the lifelike perfection of the weather is something to be astounded by. Although, I had watched Sh Shinkai's short film The Garden of Words before, so I already had some pretty good faith in his weather animating abilities. It's not just the rain though, as lightning and thunder can be seen and felt in storms, making them feel that much more harsh. But on the opposite side, the sun and the bright sky look that much warmer and more inviting because of that. Speaking of the sky, there are a few scenes involved with it, and it's hard to describe how it's used. Since the Tokyo atmosphere is almost always fully covered by dark clouds, the bright blue skies feel like they're on a different plane of existence. And the movie tends to use them in that way. You know, there aren't many movies that make me think or feel strongly about the weather, but Weathering With You managed to get me to do just that. As incredible as the story and animation both are, I went in expecting a great story and beautiful animation, and even then I was impressed. However, I didn't at all expect the incredible soundtrack. There are five different vocal tracks, six if you count an English version, and while that might seem like a lot, they are perfectly placed in the movie to elevate scenes where an instrumental would have worked fine, but just not as well. Every single song is emotionally resonant to their scenes, and even without understanding the words, the vocal performances carry it by the talent alone. 
One of the main songs is There's Still Anything Love Can Do, just holds so much emotion behind it on its own, even more so when paired with the astounding visuals, and I've been listening to it non-stop since I first heard it. I may be praising the vocal songs a lot, but that doesn't mean I want to ignore the instrumental ones either. There's so many tracks that fit so well when presented, from tense scenes to somber ones, as well as in happy scenes and inspirational ones. This is one of the greatest soundtracks for a movie, and if you like the songs found in a silent voice, you'll love these. Plus, they're incredible to work too, hence why I wrote this entire script while listening to the soundtrack, instead of my normal writing playlist. It's possible for a movie to be a success on all fronts, but still just not hit the strongest marks. Everything is technically sound and well done, but it doesn't hit that emotional core inside you. This is what I naively thought when the movie first started. I figured it'd be pretty good, but not much more. I cried three times during this movie, and that was only the ones that were visible. It was actually kind of awkward as there was a family sitting two seats away from me. So if you're wondering about the weird kid two seats away who was stifling his tears, sorry about that. But in regards to why I cried, it was just the buildup of seeing these characters be happy and do things, but then seeing the major problems arise and hurt them that brought me to tears multiple times. The first two times I cried were relatively minor, mainly just tears flowing down my cheeks, but the last time I cried was a lot more. It was the end of the movie, going into the credits, and the tears weren't just because of the final scene, but the whole movie, the culmination of it all. It was incredible and I just didn't have any other way of expressing my reaction in that moment. After that though, I listened to the soundtrack as I drove home and started putting my feelings onto the scripture or hearing me read right now. I watch a lot of movies, but it's rare that I find a movie that affects me deeply. Weathering With You just managed to be one of those movies though, as its perfect blend of story, animation, music, and characters made something that special that really touched me, both as a form of entertainment and as a creator. The way everything unfolded made me look into myself to try and elevate my writing, both with videos and other projects, to a level closer to that I saw on screen. Weathering With You just managed to appeal to me and make me think hard about both it and myself in a similar, although lesser, way to a silent voice. These movies with a rich character development and stories are what help me show that I can do better. The effect that, hopefully, I can give to people in the future, that inspiration. Once the Blu-ray for Weathering With You comes out, I already know I'll be revisiting it and releasing a much more in-depth video and analysis of the movie. I hope what I've said has convinced you to see it. And if you act fast, it might still be in theaters near you for its limited release run. This is a movie you cannot afford to miss watching on the big screen as the impact from the movie can be felt so much more in the dark movie theater with the loud booming bass. It's one of the movies that's something more, and it's something special. Thank you for listening to me talk for a while on a silent voice. This was originally supposed to be like a very quick, like, you know, three minute video, but I kind of got carried away in some parts. I, this movie really hit me harder than I expected it to. I expected it to just be fun, but you know, it, it did a lot. There's a lot really that I want to talk about though, like, the final choices and scenes in the movie and kind of character growth, but I'm not going to talk about that until the Blu-ray comes out because people will have had time to see it, and then I'm going to do a, a big video on it. Uh, if you've seen the movie, let me know what you've thought about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Um, you know, that maybe get some discussion going. If you'd like more videos like this, uh, let me know any movies that you think are similar to this that I could talk about. And uh, yeah, like the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, hit subscribe if you want to see more of these videos and until next time i'm logan and goodbye